Once a month, a group of community members come together for cookies and convo. Yes, there are treats and occasional visits from partners like Build-A-Bear, but the convo part is sometimes not as sweet. I'm a mother, they lost her children, just like everybody in here. The gatherings are attended by grieving family members to gain support and understanding from others who have similar experiences. We, we are definitely thankful to you guys to still continue to come out yes, and, yes. and get, this, get the support you know, that's needed get this in our own way. Right? The group sessions are led by parents who are all too familiar with the tragedy of losing a child. Following the killing of Michael Brown Jr. in 2014, Michael and Cal Brown created the Michael Brown Sr. Chosen for Change organization. We created um, Chosen for Change in 2014. Um, in early October, um, a gentleman who I grew up with brought us a picture that was drawn by a nine-year-old at the time. And somehow he got hold to Mike's obituary and he um, duplicated the photos that was on there. And it was presented to us and it said, Chosen for Change. And we looked at each other and we like, that's it. We provide grief support for the entire family. We have chosen fathers that create a space that is inclusive to a grieving father's healing. We have mothers of an angel that provides a space that is inclusive to a grieving mother's healing. We have copes, children overcoming painful experiences with support. They also have programs to support sisters and young women, families in the first 48 hours after losing a child, and an after-school literacy program. The Browns say that doing this work is part of the way they cope with their own grief. Yeah, I'm not sure what much else to say, really, other than, like, I just have to learn to live with this pain for the rest of my life, you know? Like, I know it's never going to go away. When you accept that this is a life sentence, you know, because you can't run from it. These things will pop up at any time. You know, you can have a good week, and that weekend, your weekend can be trash. So when you accept that, it's going to take some time. It's always some baby steps ahead. But just know you'll learn how to walk again. And I tell people I don't have the blueprint to it, you know, but I can definitely tell you how I got, how I'm going through it, you know. And maybe it can help, you know, some things, sometimes it help and sometimes it don't. Some people have to find their own, that, you know, wave that helps them. I put a lot of my uh, my work into the foundations. That helps, you know, it's, it's part of the healing for us. That's where we get our justice from, you know, helping other families. For Living St. Louis, I'm Brooke Butler.